From Debbie'sDesignDiary.com, this is Serial DIY, one house repurposed week by week. This is episode 26, how to create an ombre finish and paintable furniture transfers from Iron Orchid Design. I used a couple of these transfers right here from Iron Orchid Design. It's like a temporary tattoo. You take this little plastic stick, you rub the transfer onto the dresser. If you look at the dresser, you would think, whoa, Debbie, you painted birds and butterflies and flowers and you're so talented. And really, I just, it was like a coloring book. I found this dresser at my favorite consignment store in Encinitas. I knew it would be perfect for my bedroom and the design that I had in mind. Things in the online dating world and in the furniture painting world, they can be a trickery to the eye. There was a period in my life where I did a bunch of online dating. You can see someone's photograph and you can read their profile and you can think, whoa, that's like a total hand-painted piece of art right there. And then when you meet them in real life, nope, they're just a rub-on transfer. <laughs> I took the bohemian blue and mermaid tail and sea glass. I wanted this part right here to be really dark and then I wanted it to get lighter and lighter until it got all the way up into the white part. When blending colors together, it's easier if you put a base coat on first. I covered the entire dresser with vintage linen and waited for that to dry completely. I started at the bottom with bohemian blue and I worked my way up using mermaid tail, pedal pusher, old 57, and mint chip. I blended the gradient colors together by dipping one brush into both colors and using a spray bottle full of water. Because I wanted an organic look, I didn't worry about straight lines or the color lining up with the drawers. Why am I still single? That was the name of the article in Marie Claire Magazine 2001. When the editor called me and asked me if I wanted to be in this article, I was at a point in my life where I was totally fed up. I was 35 years old and I was exhausted. I would go out every weekend with my friends. I would go to the bars. What I really liked to do was go to flea markets and to the craft store. I wasn't finding a lot of men there. It's a fashion magazine. It goes all across the country, but mostly women read it. I ended up taking three of these transfers. I took a paintable transfer. I took one that was already colored in. You have this plastic stick. I cut it all up and I rearranged it. I made them blend together and I came up with a whole different situation with it. Drinking it in while I'm drifting away. Breathing you out of my lungs. The transfers from Iron Orchid Design come in a variety of patterns. They are all one cohesive piece that you can use as is. I chose to cut up several designs and piece them back together like a puzzle because I wanted to use a combination of colored transfers and paintable transfers. I swear I can feel you. Maybe there is nothing I can do. I've been talking to you, go. I ripped the transfer with the stick at the drawer seams and painted in the You're raw the edges. Only one who knows. Oh. Oh. We were so close. After this, 
I was still frustrated and I went over to my friend's house. I'm gonna call her Laura. Yeah, we'll just call her Laura. She convinces me to come over to her house because I don't have a computer. She logs on to her account and she starts showing me the profiles of all of these guys. They look like, you know, doctors and lawyers. She's trying to convince me to do the online dating and I did not want to do it. I thought that, you know, just a bunch of shady characters online. Be, you should do it. I, I go out on dates all the time. Yeah, but have you met anybody yet? You upload the picture of you from the magazine with the with the legs, then you will definitely get dates. And then I started thinking about it and I'm like, yeah. I have these really good pictures of me. You fill up a little bowl with water like this. You need just the tiniest amount of paint that you can even imagine because it's really pigmented. It used Fancy Farm Girl and Queen Bee. It's like a giant coloring book on a piece of furniture. You haven't even left yet and it already hurts. You have Using a tiny brush, I filled in some of the details of the Bohemian border with Carnival Red and Golden Ticket. Blend DIY paint just like watercolor because it's highly pigmented. Use a tiny brush and pull off the excess by dipping your brush in water. The undertones all I know and it's taking me down the undertow is all I know. If you use too much paint, it's easy to go back and uncover the detailed outlines by pulling off the paint with water. Experiment by blending different shades together and using white as a highlighter. I'll never stop breathing. I took this photo right here, this one right here. I uploaded them to my profile. The messages just started coming in. There were hundreds of them. Holy moly. I start sifting through the messages and about 30% of them were eliminated because they were saying things like, married man, looking for a fun time. I would get all these cute little messages from guys flirting with me and I was flirting back. This is fun, I could do this. After a certain point, you have to actually go out on a date with them and meet them in person. I, I'm, I, I'm, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to meet anybody in real life. I, I did, but I didn't and I was scared. And Lauren is like, you got to go out on a date with one of them sooner or later. So finally, I agree to go out with this guy. He didn't seem like he wanted to go out on a real date either. He had been messaging for a long time. We we set up a date to meet at a local Starbucks and I'm just nervous. I put on a cute outfit, I go to the Starbucks and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. My very first online date and he's a no-show. Use the big top and the big, big brush. It has our logo on it. They're made in Italy. Synthetic, smooth, silky, fantastic brushes. Gonna lift it up, whatever's got me down. Gonna lift it up. Ever's got me down, gonna lift it. Big top is water based, it dries clear. It will deepen the color and protect your finish. Apply generously with a brush in a cool, dry area because it dries quickly. Ever's got me down, gonna lift it up. Whatever's got me down. Living inside my head, fortress of doubt. Like a prisoner, seeing no I get way. stood up and I go in to log on to see what happened to this guy. And he's got this lame excuse. Then he starts trying to get me to meet him again. No way, dude. Forget it. And then he tells me the reason he did not meet me at the Starbucks was because he put up a fake picture. I knew it. I knew the picture was fake because it looked like it came out of out of a catalog from J. Crew or something. I went with it because my picture was from a magazine, so I thought, well, maybe his picture is from a magazine. And then immediately I'm like, ew, gross, who is he? This could be some really creepy dude, some married guy, some, some serial, serial killer. killer. 
After that, I met a few guys for coffee here and there. One after the other was a disappointment and I started to think, Debbie, maybe the online thing is just exactly what you thought it was, just fake and dangerous. While all of this is going on, I'm going to the gym every night and Bobby would get on the machine next to me. He was trying to talk to me, but I would always just keep my headphones on and he would try and say hello and I would just be like, you know, with the headphones high. He was trying to strike up a conversation with me and I was just shutting him down. Long story short, Bobby and I started dating. Bobby was just a huge contrast from all of the guys from the online dating site. I go over to my friend Laura's house. Debbie, you have all of these messages and you have not answered any of them in months. Laura, how, how do you know that I have so many messages? Then she tells me that she knew what my password was because she helped me set it up and that she had been going onto my profile and writing these guys back, pretending to be me. Oh. Hyper focus my attention on you, baby. A selfish new dimension in my mind. You're exotic like a diamond. I can't shake you. Oh, la la. I'm telling you I just can't live without you I need you right now Cause you got me going Gimme, 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 gimme that loving Won't you to let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get a cherry on top I've got this feeling in my chest I thump, I thump, thump Laura, what are you doing? Well, I wasn't meeting anyone from my profile I'm like, that's because the picture of you was the day you had been crying and you need to put up a better picture. And eventually she did marry someone that she met online. I don't know if she ever told the person or not that her name wasn't Debbie, but that was my experience. I have not dated online since that day. There was a point in the middle of all of this where a friend said to me, what if you could look into the future and found out that you were just never gonna get married? And I remember thinking, I'm gonna stop wasting all this time and I'm gonna live my life. And that's when my business started to take off. I honestly can say I don't care. I'm happy, I love my life. See my friends who are married and they look like they have beautiful lives. If that is something that is meant to be at some point, then it is. But if it's not, I'm happy. If you have any online dating stories, put them in the comments below because I love reading your stories. The shoe stories, oh my gosh, so good. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Give me, give me, give me, give me, don't stop. I will have the transfers from IOD and the mermaids from last week's video on my website next week. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell DIY products in your store, click the link below. Thanks for watching. Whoa.